is a natural perfume? What is a synthetic perfume? What is an aroma chemical? How are they used? Let's talk about all of it. To begin, some definitions. Natural, extracted from plant materials, occasionally animal. Synthetic, made by chemists in a lab. Vanilla Absolute, for example, is a natural vanilla material. Contrast that with vanillin, which is synthetic vanilla. A big difference when it comes to using naturals versus synthetics in a perfume composition is the precision that it affords the perfumer. Think of naturals as a spice mix. It's a collection of molecules. A rose oil, as a popular example, contains hundreds of molecules, whereas synthetic materials are often sold as one molecule, so you can get really precise with the facet that you want to control. Which brings me to natural isolates the Venn diagram between the two. These are essentially isolated from natural materials to focus on a single molecule or a single facet. An example here is alpha ionone, which is a sweet, floral, violet -y material. This can be made in a lab or it can be extracted from natural sources. And here on Perfumer's Apprentice, they have a natural version. Going back to the spice mix analogy, this would be a specific spice. And again, it's all about control. It's about what you want to dial up. To recap, we have naturals, we have natural isolates, and we have synthetics. Natural isolates and synthetics are both considered aroma chemicals, which are essentially chemicals that are used to scent or to flavor. So in terms of brand examples, Lunea is 100% natural oils, tinctures, and extracts. Then we have brands that are plant-based, like Linen Tutu, or quote-unquote all-natural, like Hiram Green, which are essentially naturals and natural isolates. Most brands that we talk about here on Perfume Talk are a mix of all three, although they tend to favor synthetics because synthetics are more affordable. Most brands that consider themselves clean tend to be heavy in synthetics. There are a lot of allergens and irritants in the natural world. This, by the way, is from Henry Rose. And then we have the brands that only use synthetic materials. Eccentric Molecules is a classic example. Their most popular example, Molecule 1, highlights ISO-E Super, which is a synthetic molecule that approximates cedar. So when a perfumer wants to add cedar to a perfume, they have a choice of using a synthetic like ISO-E Super or a natural material like cedar oil. Back to the original question. A perfumer might choose to use a synthetic aroma chemical for a few reasons. One, cost. They are cheaper to use. Two, longevity. They are designed to stick around. Three, precision. They might want to add a specific aspect into a perfume. Four, sustainability. Synthetic molecules have that going for them. You are not dependent on, say, the crops of that year. Five, this is not a complete list, and I invite all the perfumers watching this to weigh in. Hope that helps.